Hello, the topic for today's session is Information Technology Infrastructure or IT Infrastructure. So what does infrastructure mean? The term infrastructure entails all those components that are installed or implemented in a company to provide IT services. For example, software or applications, hardware and the network. So here I'm going to start with the basics and gradually add components so that you can see what a basic infrastructure looks like in a typical environment. So in a company we have users also known as end users. They're using uh, the system, they're using applications, they're using software and these are employees of the company. Not every employee is a user of computer but all users of the computers are employees of the company. In reality that is not correct as well because some contractors are using the system so we can say all the users are either employees or contractors of a company. Now a user will be interacting with the software through a desktop computer or laptop you can say that as well but they will be having some kind of computer accessible to them. So these gray boxes within the blue ones are representing applications or software that users are using to serve the job role that they are given. Users would be using different applications or software pertaining to their department and pertaining to the job role that they are given. Other than the desktop or laptop computers that users are using, a typical company would also have some heavy duty computers called servers and these servers are also running applications and software represented by these gray boxes inside these blue server boxes. Some of these applications or software running on the server are accessible by the users through a browser and and hence the term web-based application and some of these software are not accessible by the users and they are serving some other purpose maybe batch reporting or some other purpose and they are not supposed to be interactable by the users so all kind of software are running on multiple servers in a typical company's IT environment and it would be very normal for a company to have one or more servers that are running databases. Databases are a special software that manages data. In fact, some of the other software that are running on other servers would be interacting with the database server to either retrieve the data or to insert newly entered data into the database and also to update existing data. So all the database related activities would be happening in a database server. Database server is usually the same machine as the other servers but it would have database installed on it. This is not a true 100% of the time because uh, sometimes vendors do uh, manufacture servers that are specially designed just to run database software on it uh, known as the term known as appliance meaning a hardware and a software specially designed for that hardware. And how is everything connected with each other? How are all these computers connected to each other? Because the desktop or laptops users are using is also a computer, server is also a computer and they need to talk to each other. The application server may need to talk to the database server to manage the data and application server will have all the application related logic but the data would be residing in the database server and users are running tons of applications on their desktop that may need to interact with the other application servers and with the database servers and in some cases may need to interact with each other maybe one user is sharing his or her screen with other users so we need some kind of a pipeline that would enable flow of data from one computer to the other and that pipeline is called a network in in a IT environment and there are hardware involved in the network as well routers are a typical example that usually everybody knows and there are tons of other hardware in the picture as well network is not simply a bunch of wires going from one computer to the other and 
this session will serve the basis for other videos in which I'll talk about IT roles. So I'll talk about what kind of stuff is required to manage the network, manage the databases, to manage the applications running on servers and desktops, etc. So whatever we just talked about is happening within the boundary of the company, but a company does interact with the rest of the world through the internet. And in a typical environment, we do have a firewall between the internet and the network of the company. This firewall in reality is represented by a combination of hardware and software which is managed by the network team and we will talk about that later on. So here the point is traffic does flow between the company and the internet through the fire firewall in a secured manner. So in this video you have seen a typical IT infrastructure setup in a company and this will become basis for my other videos in which I'll talk about the IT job roles.